What's up, YouTube? It's ADAJ3 back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the next steps that the Super Eagles have to take to become a consistent top tier African side again and eventually compete on the world stage. It's totally unacceptable to miss three out of four Nations Cups before the 2019 edition, to consistently underwhelm at World Cups, and to have such a lack of true quality world class players developed from Nigeria. And though there are too, so many people and young people in general in the country that love football and we're not able to produce a better national team product. Firstly, there has to be stability in the NFF and with national team coaching. There have been way too many scandals involving corruption with NFF leaders and coaches taking bribes. These are distractions that lead to poor youth national teams such as the U-20 national squad that we saw at the World Cup earlier this summer. There are rumors that the best squad was not even featured because players were forced to pay coaches money just to be included into the team. This leads to some top tier prospects not being featured because they didn't have enough money or refused to pay the coaches. At senior level, the NFF and fans are too impatient with head coaches. Nigeria have had six head coaches in just the last five years alone. Prior to that, we have fired coaches who have qualified us for the World Cup right before the tournament started. To have long-term success, the coaching position can't constantly be in flux. Coaches should be hired with the hope and expectation that they are taking on a long-term project that will end with the team making significant progress. When a coach is fired, the Federation should have gone through a long, tedious process that ensures a new coach that has a sense of playing style and direction is hired. There is no point of continuing to hire and fire coaches when a few results don't go our way. Realistic expectations must be set for each coaching regime so that small benchmarks are made in the short run and incremental success leads to long-term gain. If the NFF lays out a specific long-term plan detailing how they'll improve the national team, then fans will be given more reason to be patient. One major aspect of Nigerian football that needs to be addressed is the state of the domestic league, the NPFL. The league is not in a state where it, in which it, it uh, produces a conveyor belt of talent that ends up having longevity with the national team. Currently, the strategy for success seems to be to dominate at U-17 level and send players to Europe just for their careers to fizzle out within five years. A strong domestic league gives the coaching staff more options for depth at each position and a place for the best players that can't immediately go to Europe and their teens to develop. It's not sustainable to rely solely on players developed in other countries such as the Victor Moseses, Alex Iwobis, who are developed in England for the most part, and uh, Econs and Balagoons who were developed in the Netherlands and Germany. Uh, having a higher quality of domestic Nigerian players is a more sustainable way of having a stronger national team and having players that will have longer careers if and when they move abroad. Nigeria need to focus on fostering an environment in which they develop players with a winning mentality that are good enough to win on the continent at club level. This includes having their club teams perform well in tournaments such as the CAF Champions League and the CAF Confederations Cup. Nigerian clubs have won a grand total of two CAF CLs and none since Nyimba won two in a row from 2003 to 2004. So the MPFL definitely needs more organization. There have been times when the league has started at different times of the year, players haven't been paid on time, and teams are playing on pitches that haven't been well maintained. The best way to create a quality league is to have a system of grassroots and youth development with getting licensed coach, starting with getting licensed coaches to teach young players the fundamentals and tactical side of the game at an early age. If academies and a scouting network are built, young talent would be nurtured and youth players will be turned into better professionals for the NPFL. According to senior Nigerian football writer Colin Uda, there are no articulated programs to scout, identify, develop, and train talent from a young age. 
No structured tournaments for children to take part in. No playing philosophy. Nothing beyond a hit and miss approach relying on an entitled, we have abundant talents narrative. It's an approach that relies on said talents flocking out to Europe before being called into the Super Eagles or even worse than, or even worse, the cadet teams. End quote. So in summation, we can't keep relying on just natural talent and government-owned club teams without having a long-term plan for the youth to succeed. Addressing stability in the NFF, senior and youth level coaching, the MPFL and grassroots development will go a long way in dramatically improving the national squad. Uh, Well, guys, that's all I have for today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look out for some new videos as the new club season approaches. Peace.